Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm gonna to be showing you a couple of ways to detect if your user is using a mobile device using JavaScript. Now, let me start off by saying that there is no way to really be 100% sure that your user is on a mobile device because things like the user agent can be modified um, by the end user. So when we talk about detecting mobile browsers, we're actually saying we're trying to make a really calculated guess as to if your users are using a mobile device because 99% of the uh, situations your user is going to be a normal person that just wants to browse the web and they're not going to be modifying user agents. So just want to make that clear uh, at the very beginning. So I'm going to show you two different ways of making that very calculated guess. So the first way is going to involve using regular expressions on the user agent. So what is the user agent? Just uh, just quickly here, essentially it is an HTTP header that is sent by the uh, mobile phone or the desktop which tells the server side some information about the device that is trying to access the resource. And in the front end, you can also access the user agent. So let's have a look here. Essentially, we're going to be looking for the keyword of Android or iPhone. So if the user agent contains one of those two phrases, we're gonna guess, well, they're most likely on a mobile device. So I've got this function right here in my JavaScript code, which says is mobile. We're gonna modify this to return the results of our regular expression test. So we're gonna say here forward slash Android. Okay, just like this. Then pipe character, then iPhone. Okay, then forward slash once again to define the regular expression pattern. I'm gonna say I for a case insensitive search. Then I'm gonna say dot test just like that. I'm now gonna pass through here navigator dot user agent, which is of course the string I'm going to test against. So now I'm going to uh, console.log the, uh, the results of the is mobile function. I'll save this, go in the browser here, and in the console we get a value of false. So this is not a mobile device. I wanna quickly show you what the user agent looks like. I'm gonna say navigator dot user agent, just like that. I'll press enter and we get here Mozilla 5.0 Windows NT and so on. So this is what it looks like, right? If I was to switch uh, the device on my Chrome DevTools to be a, uh, let's do an iPhone uh, 12 Pro. I'll refresh now and now we get true for that is mobile function. So this means if I see the user agent, we get iPhone right there. And the reason why this user agent just changed is because Chrome DevTools is going to update the user agent to match the phone which we are uh, you know, emulating right here. So that's how we can test it. Now let's make an Android, let's make it a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, I'll refresh. We also get true and this time we get Android inside the user agent, which of course is why the test works. Now, in my opinion, this here is probably the preferred way to go at the moment um, because it also means if I go into the uh, emulation for a Nest Hub, for example, refresh, this is also a mobile device. Um, if I go into uh, Surface Pro 7, it's not a mobile device. so it's quite good at detecting those mobile devices. The second technique here is gonna involve whether or not the device supports touch, okay? So, back in VS Code here, I'm gonna now change this return to be return, then say navigator.max uh, touch points is greater than zero. So, the max touch points property tells you essentially like the name says, the maximum touch points on the device. So if you have zero touch points, then you're probably a desktop. Now let's go back in the browser here, refresh on desktop, we get false. If I go into the device toolbar and I change this to be an iPhone, refresh, we get true, it works. 
Let's make it Android Galaxy S8 Plus. Refresh, true. Let's make it a Nest Hub, true. Not bad. Let's make it a Surface Pro 7, true. So a Surface Pro 7 is not really a mobile device. It's more of a laptop, right? But you get true. So that's because, of course, Surface Pro supports touch. So this technique here, in my opinion, probably isn't the absolute best, but I can see why it's used. And it is actually recommended quite a few times online if you were to do a bit of Googling. So that's a second technique here. If you wish to use it, fair enough, that's fine because, you know, the user agent also has its own limitations, right? It might not, you know, it might not always be accurate. Um, there may be updates to the user agent in future, which then breaks the test uh, and so on. There might be other phone uh, operating systems that come out or that your users are using. You need to add those to, uh, to, you know, to the support list and so on. So you've got those two techniques here. You could also apply, uh, you know, a combination of both. So you could say here, Navigator Max Touch Points, and you could say, um, you know, I'll just copy and paste the regex pattern here. We can say Android iPhone test and so on. So now go back in the browser, refresh on the surface, you get false like we did before. If I go to iPhone, we get true. So, you know, you probably do want to use a combination of both if you want the absolute best, uh, you know, uh, guess of a mobile device. But we can see here you've got these two techniques that don't require a library. Speaking of libraries, there are many libraries out there which you can find that allow you to, uh, you know, detect mobile devices. But if you don't wish to include a library, you can, of course, use one of these techniques or both. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.